So um, I had a chance to talk to you uh, a couple of days before you got to Montreal. Yeah. And we were talking about, um, about you coming here. And I think the thing that I got from you, and this is just through the telephone, this is one in person, was just the energy of, of love from you. It's all about love from you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think a lot of people might think that you're, uh, that, that, that you're somebody that you're not. You're, you're one of the, the nicest guys I've ever met. I, uh, I was told by a guy named Eddie Bunker when I first got into the business in 1985, he said, Danny, you can't get mad at people because when other people get mad, it's like their face says, I'm mad at you. But when you get mad, it says, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> and then I'm going to go find your dry cleaner and kill him. So, <laughs> so, so don't get, because I, I happened to have gotten mad at an actor and I looked at him and he went into his trailer and wouldn't come out. And it was, <laughs> you know, uh, because you know, a lot of the a lot of the tough guys in Hollywood aren't really tough. No. You know, they're <laughs> actors, and I I try to tell them that. So, look, come here. Look, you're not really tough. Okay, it's a karate movie. Okay, right, yeah. <laughs> talk to Chuck Norris about karate. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it, it, it's true, though, and, and you're, obviously you're saying it. I mean, you, 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 you do have probably one of the meanest looks in Hollywood. Uh, that's, yeah, I've been voted that a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've been in so many things. Um, you, you crossed generations when you were in Spy Kids. Yeah, yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Believe it or not, I have heard, Mommy, look. The man from Spy Kids in like 50 different languages you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all over the world. You know, that, was, that was an amazing, amazing genre of movies. It was four of them, and I was in all four of them. You know, so it was like a lot of fun. But, but I think one of the coolest things is um, I watch a lot of movies at my house, yeah. and, and uh, I've got, a, I've got a, an amazing 14-year-old and an amazing 11-year-old, but my 14-year-old and I, we really gel on movies because there's stuff I can show yeah. him now. Yeah. And I showed, we watched Fanboys together. And I forgot you're in Fanboys. Yeah. And then we watched the Heat. Chief. Yeah, <laughs> The Chief. And then we watched Heat, and you were in Heat. And it just blew my mind how in one week we watched two movies, and you're in both of them. And I had forgotten you were in them. And that's, I, you've been in so Do you know how many things you've been in? I think IMDb, I think, has me at 380-something. <laughs> but, you know, to, to be honest, to be honest, a lot of those are like student films, you know, that kids needed an actor to get some money, so yeah. they, will you, yeah, buy me lunch, you know. <laughs> you, 380, you must be rich. No, some of those were buy me lunch, okay, and I'll do it. You know? And then first time director, it's real hard for a first time director to get money, you yeah, know, unless yeah. he has somebody sign. So, yeah, sign me up, I'll do something, you know. So. So we'll just do it. The, obviously, the role that, uh, that, that I don't want to say put you on the map, but that has, has, has been a, a, a godsend for you was Machete. Machete! God, man. Oh. Uh, when we spoke, you told me you've been in 11 movies with Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how, how different were things from before Machete to after Machete? Well, when we did Desperado, he had just gotten some money. He, he did a movie called uh, Mariachi. Right. And it was basically Desperado on, on a $180 budget. Yeah. You know what I mean? Was, I think he got like, he did it for $6,000 or something, right? And used his cousins. And, and then when uh, the studio saw it, they, boom, they gave him some money to do Desperado. That's when he called me in. And, and, uh, we, from there, it's like, I mean, he did stuff like, for, in for a, what do you call it, for like a crane shot or something, he would just like hang the, the, the camera, the camera yeah. yeah, from a, <laughs> did just like, yeah, hang it, whatever, you know, so <laughs> everything was like, Robert, Robert had the, the idea of, if, if, if the technology's not there, we'll invent it, right, you know, and he has, and he's done so much for independent filmmaking, you know. Hey, wait a minute, hold on. On three, everybody yell, Robert Rodriguez, let's do Machete three. One, uh, two, three. Robert, Robert Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Will you please do Machete, machete three? three? Please. Yes, yes. I'm saying that. Yeah, 
I, I'm pretty confident we just got that green lit. Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna send that to him. Oh, I, we had we had something that was. We, yeah. we want to give you a, a present on stage if that's cool. All right. Can we uh, can we bring that out for Danny? So you are, are you a hockey fan? No, that's my wife. That's not the present. <laughs> wow. That's for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, wow, Montreal's awesome. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. Well, I think it's safe to say Thank we you. found the defenseman we needed. <laughs> Thank you. It's badass, right? You know who's fight strap, this fight strap one too. Is uh, God, wait, who's gonna love, uh, what's his name? Jay and Silent Bob. Silent Bob, you'll love this. Oh yeah, Kevin Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when he came to Montreal, he came out wearing one for two seconds. And then he took it off right away. Because I'm not keeping this on. This is just for you guys. And he took it off. And he I, did a, <laughs> I did a, the Flash. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and he directed it. Yeah, he was the director. Yeah. So it was like so cool.